And when other hurricanes and storms have hit, we've seen social media posts make the rounds claiming that hotels and motels are required to take your pets, your furry friends, if you're evacuating. But is that actually true? Our Paula Suro verifies the facts. These are some of those social media posts that surfaced during hurricane season a few years back, claiming the Pets Evacuation and Transportation Standards, or PETS Act, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency both give evacuees the legal right to bring their pets to stay at a hotel or motel. Back in 2017, we verified this is false, but is that still the case today? Our sources are the Red Cross, the Georgia Hotel and Lodging Association, FEMA, and the Pets Act itself. It's part of that being prepared and knowing in advance who can accommodate your pets. The Pets Act passed in 2006 and has not been amended since. It states local governments must have emergency plans to shelter pets, but it does not mandate hotels or motels accept them. However, we encourage folks to call ahead to find out if hotels or motels um, can accept their pets and to ask if there are pet policies, could they be waived in an emergency? Similarly, FEMA updated information on its transitional sheltering assistance program last year, indicating pet owners still have to check if furry friends are accepted at hotels and motels. In a statement, the agency tells us many don't allow pets, so you need to make sure you have a plan in place. Part of that plan, the Red Cross tells us, should also include making sure you have your pet's food, crates, and leashes. Are their pet's vaccinations current and up to date? Are they wearing collars? Um, are they microchipped? in case somehow they got separated. So we can verify that claim is still false today. Hotels and motels are still not legally required to take pets in during evacuations, although some may decide to make an exception to the rule or to waive fees. Paula Suro, 11 Alive News.